causes love doesn't exist. Episode 21 Are you saying that you're not dating Aijin then? Or are you trying to say you don't want to get married to me? You can be rest assured. You're going to end up being with the person you truly like. To Yinhai, the true bloodline of Midnight Sun. I'm so glad you're on the same page as me. It's you I want. So much to the point that I dread having to wait five years. Guihin's changed. When Aijin takes leave next month, it'd be nice for all three of us to meet. It's clear that something in Guihin's psyche has definitely changed. I'll see you then, Sien. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I felt uneasy. So, this is the place. After Yang Jin's supply contract with Midnight Sun Foods Inc., Yang Jin enjoyed wild growth, and their factory size more than doubled, while its part-time and full-time staff were on the increase. I kept a keen eye on their job board for part-time hires, and as soon as I saw one for a weekend position, I was quick to apply. That was all because of the thought of getting to meet my birth father. Erm. Hi. I'm a new part-timer here. Oh, the newbie? You're early. Follow me. But, Erm, where's the CEO? Our boss? He'll be coming to work a bit later. But he doesn't really care about the part-timers, so you won't have to worry too much about him. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm just a part-time employee, anyway. I'm in charge of hiring the part-time staff and paying them. Oh, by the way. I'm Deputy Suk Hui Yang. Just call me Deputy Yang. What's your name? You in high school? Is Si and Kim. I start college in March. Oh. What an age. I've been working here at Yangjin for eight years now. I've been here so long, I practically know how many cutlery the CEO keeps in his house. Are you close with him? Almost all the people at our factory worked here a while, so they're all close to him. He's a nice man. He seems like a nice CEO. Hearing her compliment my birth father like that somehow makes me feel warm inside. Does his wife come here? Only sometimes. When we're hectic and busy she comes out to help, but not usually. In recent years, she's been busy tending to her daughter in high school. She just got into college, you girls are the same age. I see. What do you want to do with your paycheck? I just want to support my living expenses. Living expenses, I see. She seems to be misunderstanding me, should I let her know? If you do well here, I'll call you out here again when we're hiring part-timers again, so do your best. The two staff who were hired again this time worked here before. I see. Some even got full-time positions after doing part-time here. We don't pay as much as the big companies, but we don't easily lay people off. You can keep working here, just as long as the company doesn't go bankrupt. Sure. I'll do my best. Right, let's head in. You can put your coat in the empty cabinet here, and just wait until the others come in. I'll introduce you to everyone when they all gather up in a bit. So this is my birth father's factory. I could see letters of Yang Jin scattered throughout the office. It's just the company name, but why do I feel this way? Yang Nuna. Oh, gosh. Who are you? A part-timer? Yeah. Wasn't Deputy Yang in here just now? She was, but she just left. She said she was going to come back after gathering all the other part-time staff. Who is that guy? Does he work for Yang Jin too? By the way, part-timer. 
You have any experience in packaging? What gives? He's sitting there like an employer of a hotshot conglomerate. No, today's my first day. It'll be rough to start, but you'll get used to it. Try your best. Okay. I rushed over at the thought of seeing my birth father, but it looks like I got here too early. Guess I'll just browse the internet while I wait. Hey, part-timer. No phones allowed during work. Okay. I haven't even started work yet. How strict. Let's see here. Did I get any texts? But he just banned me from using mine. What? But you just said no phones allowed. I haven't started work yet. Who is this guy? Yang Nuna. Huh? Mansoor, you're already here? You really are ace part-timer. Mansoor? Ace part-timer? Mansoor Yansu Park. This is the friend I was telling you about. The one who got rehired after doing so well here. He's on leave of absence at the moment, but he goes to a good college. He even tutored the boss's daughter. This guy tutored Yunhai. I quit tutoring math after a few months, and I'm working part-time here now. I prefer manual labor, and the close-knit family vibes at Yang Jin kept me working here. But, hey, take that jumper off. That's Section Chief Lee's. Ha ha ha. Where else are you gonna get family vibes like this? Attention, everyone. Now that all the part-timers are here, I'm going to introduce a few things and explain the assignments. The task was to put on our hats, masks, and sanitary gloves and sit in our designated seats, folding packing boxes and moving them into the big boxes. This is a more delicate procedure than I'd thought. Whoa, how is that guy so fast? Did they say he was the task leader? He's lightning fast. By the way, Yunsu, you must be heading back to college, right? Yeah, my mom told me I might as well graduate since I got accepted anyway. Oh, definitely, you weren't thinking of dropping out of that good school, were you? The atmosphere at the workshop was bright. I had heard so many stories about companies where people work in complete silence, but Yang Jin was different. Okay, morning shift's over. Good job, everyone. First day's tough, right? It'll be a breeze once you get the swing of things, let's go eat. Okay. The cafeterias within the industrial complex which were shared with the surrounding factories were really great. The side dishes were plentiful and they were delicious. Where do you live, by the way, Xian? Gangdong. You came all the way here from Seoul, Gangdong. Everyone seemed surprised at my answer. They must find it hard to accept that I come all this way to work a part-time job. They offer more hourly rates than the minimum wage, but the truth is, take away the commuting expenses and there's not much left. Oh, Sukui. The CEO isn't here yet, right? I thought I saw Chauffeur Park's face earlier, maybe the CEO went to see a client? He left his place with Yunhai. Chauffeur Park mentioned that he went to the car dealership with Yunhai, and he's gonna come back after having lunch. Maybe he's going to buy Yunhai a car. Yunhai must have been a saint in her past life to be born into his family as an only daughter. My appetite took a plunge all of a sudden. All things aside, she doesn't take after her parents, not one bit. The boss and his wife are such nice people. She was an only child. They must have spoiled her too much. She never used to be this bad. 
Ever since the CEO's business started booming, she thinks she rules the world and cares about no one but herself. My word, she even ran chauffeur park on her coffee errand the last time her father wasn't around. It's an unfair world. We're out here toiling hard to make a living. And she's out there with a silver spoon living in the lap of luxury. If you're hinting at me. I never had to work too hard, nor am I struggling to make ends meet. All right, I know what you're saying. You're a good kid. Yunsu, you brought your car, right? Take Sian to the nearest train station on your way home. Me? I'll be fine. No. That kid Yunsu's rich and has a lot of time on his hands. You don't need to refuse. He's only working here as a hobby. You're not imposing. His dad's the CEO of the factory next to us. His father's the CEO of a factory? Yeah, despite how the kids looks, he's the son of the CEO of this complex's largest factory. His brief tutoring gig with Yunhai happened because the two CEOs can knew each other. I'd never have thought that he was the son of a CEO.